Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the second release in the Briar Wild Animal series, Nadifa. I'm assuming is maybe how you say her name. I may be wrong. She is in the box here behind Kahindi, whose name I also might be pronouncing wrong, who was the first release in the Briar Animal Web Special series. And I did a whole video already unboxing and reviewing this guy last year, so if you want to check that video out, you can check out the cards up in the corner or the description down below. I don't know why, but I really love these briar decorators that are painted to look like other animals. I also have all of the models in the Big Cat series because I just think they are so cool. And so I had to get Nadifa. However, she ended up being the most money I've ever spent on a briar. Last year I also did a video on Dundee, who was at the time the most money I've paid for a single briar. And I thought I paid $240 for him, but according to my video I actually paid $220 for him. So I actually paid quite a bit more for Nadifa, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we unbox her here. Now I've been knowing that Briar was going to come out with the second release to the Wild Animal Web Special series this year, so I kept some money aside for that. I was really surprised that this particular model was going for a lot. I don't know if there's just a lot more people that are into the Briar decorators now, or just the models in this particular series. So I ended up having to buy her for a little bit more than I was originally expecting or wanting to. And of course, she's the only web special this year that I've entered so far to try and be able to purchase. And of course, I didn't get picked for her. But I managed to get her for $250, which is actually not too bad compared to some of the other prices that she was selling for. And therefore makes her the most money I've ever spent on one single model. And don't get that confused with her being my most valuable or rare model, because I do have some models that are technically worth more than her. And a reminder that I pay for all these Briar models myself, and I can't believe I spent that much on one model, but I think she's going to be worth it. All right, and here we go. Our first look at Nadifa. So far, she looks pretty cool. Get the rest of her packaging off. Boop, and there she is. So she is painted to look like a reticulated giraffe. I'm hoping I'm also pronouncing that right, but who knows. Now, I remember thinking when I got Kahindi here, how cool it would be if they did a giraffe, because that's a pretty iconic animal and animal pattern. Maybe they're going to end up doing a giraffe, for example, because that's in a similar family as the Okapi. She is really pretty so far. I'm really liking her. I was secretly hoping that they would put a giraffe on the Forever Siege mold just because her neck is very long and would just be kind of funny if they made her a giraffe. But they did it on Lonesome Glory, which totally makes sense still because this mold also does kind of have maybe a long neck. It doesn't have a goofy neck like the Forever Siege mold, but it does have a long neck and long legs and is kind of tall, which giraffes do have very long legs as well and are of course very tall animals. So the Lonesome Glory mold does really make sense for them to put a giraffe on. So far from what I can tell this model is really nicely done. There is a lot of markings going on here and the masking looks pretty nice for all of it. We'll get a bit of a closer look in a moment here but for the most part she doesn't really have that much overspray from what I can tell. And is just looking like a really pretty model. She actually looks like she's even better condition than Kahindi because he does have a couple little tiny, tiny minor factory flaws. We'll start off with her face. I like all these little markings on her face. Look really cool. It is a little surprising that her eyes are just solid black. Kahindi's eyes do have eye whites, but hers are solid black. I don't know if they're trying to just make it look more like giraffe eyes maybe. I think their eyes might just be solid black, so maybe that's why they did that. I like on the top of her head that she has some really tiny little markings, little spots on her. I will admit I'm not terribly fond of the blaze. That's this really dark color. I know they're trying to go for it to look like a giraffe, but giraffes don't really have a marking like that on their face. I think they were kind of taking creative liberties with that, but I feel like it just doesn't quite work in my opinion. 
Apparently sometimes the giraffes do have darker markings like that on their faces, kind of. I mean, I'll throw up some pictures for comparison, but I think it is is a little strange personally. I think this is the only thing I would maybe change or have it kind of blend in with the other markings a little bit more. In my opinion, that's the only thing that just feels like it kind of sticks out a little bit on her and feels like it's not supposed to be a part of her pattern. But otherwise, I am really liking her. Her muzzle is interesting. It's pink with some shading around the mouth and nostrils. It's a really interesting color of pink too. It's definitely a pink mixed with tan. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but it's an interesting color that I haven't really seen quite down on Briar's model faces before. And I like that they did spots underneath her face. I always like that when they do little details like that, even if you don't see them very much. They did the spots on her face and also show you that they've done them on her belly as well. Let's go down to her neck and her mane. Her mane is just kind of the same color as her body, a little bit darker, but it looks very nice. Oh, and look at these beautiful markings. I'm actually really loving these. They look really natural. Again, they look well painted. They don't have a lot of smudging or anything like that. There is a little bit of smudging here and there, like you'll see a little bit right there and also right there, but I can imagine it's really hard to get the masking on those areas to stay down flat so that doesn't happen. Her legs have the spots go down to a a little bit above her knees and they're on the inside and outside of the legs and then her legs are this lighter tan color with dark gray hooves we'll go over to the hooves on her other side as well and she does have a VIN number which most likely means that she was painted in China and not at the Briar factory in New Jersey but she does have a nice paint job I think so her back legs are like the same as her front it's this light tan and then it moves up into spots higher up above the knees. Her tail is painted to kind of look like a giraffe tail with a dark near black on the bottom of her tail. And then the top of it is actually sprayed with like a little bit of orange, which looks pretty cool. I need to look at more pictures of giraffes to see like the comparison of how this paint job looks to a real giraffe. We'll move over to the other side of her here though, and you can see more of those awesome markings. She does have a little bit of shading in these markings. Not a whole lot though, but I think that's kind of good. It probably would have taken away from her markings if she did have some really dark prominent shading. Instead it is fairly even color all around here, but not like super duper even. There is a little bit of shading going on and stuff. There is a look at her back. And then all these wonderful markings do go down into her belly. Her belly is actually really neat looking, especially with those markings on her legs as well, all coming together. And on the bottom it says Wild Animal Series Limited Edition with the zebra little logo icon face there. This is the same stamp that was done on Kahindi. And there's the stamp that was done on Kahindi, which is in silver. I did notice another detail too, her hooves actually have a dark stripe painted down the middle to kind of look more like giraffe feet. I think their feet are kind of two hooves together, like cloven hooves. I always love little details like that, even if they're not like super noticeable right off the bat. But they did do that on all our hooves. Look more like giraffe feet. And that looks to be about all there is to say on her. I guess I could ask the same question as I did in the video about Dundee is was she worth the price I paid for her? Value wise I don't think I overpaid for her by any means. She is really pretty. I definitely don't regret getting her. Her condition is fantastic. I do love this pattern on her. I love the wild animal series and all of that. And I think she also looks really cool actually with her friend here, Kahindi, from the first release in the series. They actually like look super cute together. And I can't wait for whatever animal they're gonna do next year for the wild animal series. I'm sure whatever it is, is a model I'm gonna have to get. Maybe they'll do some sort of gazelle or antelope, maybe some kind of other African animal like that. Maybe they'll do a rhino or an elephant. Although I do feel like maybe that would be a little bit bland 
because it would be hard to do something really interesting with that. I feel like it would just end up looking like a solid gray model with some shading on it. So I don't know if they'd ever do a rhino or elephant. I still think reptiles are going to be where it's at if they want to do some really cool, fun, crazy colored models. Maybe they would do that as like a separate web special series or something. But who knows, the term wild animals is pretty broad. It could mean any wild animals. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what animal you think Briar is going to do their wild animal series model on next year. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!